I'm Brittany Umar, welcome to the Nooner, and hey Rex, you should work here with us. We encourage this kind of shit. Yeah, just when you thought it was safe to go back into the off season, the great white Rex pops out and does something wacky for us to talk about. Rex Ryan was in Miami officially to visit his players at the Pro Bowl, but probably unofficially to get wasted and hit up some Miami steakhouses and hot spots. Rex took time out of his busy off-season eating schedule to stop by Herschel Walker's mixed martial arts debut and let Dolphins fans know what he thought of them. Nice. Obviously, this is running on the back page of every paper in town, as if Rex Ryan wasn't essentially flipping off opposing fans with everything he did all season long anyway. A lot of the media is calling this image Rex Rated, and All Things Considered is not so bad considering any other secretly captured images of Rex that could potentially earn that moniker would be just absolutely disgusting. Ryan apologized for his actions, saying it was stupid and inappropriate, and adding, I'll know better than to ever attend a mixed martial arts event again. He also followed that statement with, I've walked over tougher guys going to a fight than that old wussy standing behind me wearing that lame Hawaiian shirt. Jets GM Mike Tannenbaum said the team accepted the coach's apology and said he hopes that he and Rex are now even for that whole sticking him with Vernon Golston thing. Moving over to baseball, the Mets have signed local product Frank Catalanato to a minor league deal and invited him to spring training. Since he can come off the bench and play various positions in the field, the desperate to sell tickets Mets have already started to market the Long Island born acquisition as Frank the Situational Catalanato. The Grammys were held last night in LA, and like the Latin version of the award show back in November, Sammy Sosa made an appearance. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, that's Lady Gaga. So hard to tell these days. In local weekend basketball action, the Nets lost their 42nd game of the year last night, and coach Kiki Vandeweghe said it was all his fault for calling a bad play as time expired. The other 41, he said, are all on the crappy players. The Knicks lost in embarrassing fashion to the miserable Timberwolves, 112-91. David Lee got a technical for hitting the referee with the ball on a bounce. What's worse, it was a foul shot. Michael Vick's new show on BET will start tonight with an episode in which Vick admits that had he not been arrested, he'd still be dogfighting today. Without that day, my life would have been in shambles, he says. That day happened, and it happened for a reason. Adding, so I can have a new TV show on BET, check it out. And with that, we are done for the day. If you didn't like today's episode, then all I have to say is this.